Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I'm sorry I have not been here this week. I've actually done, my bangs, they just drive me nuts sometimes. I've actually done some vlogging this week, not too much. My kids have been out of school all week and Brooke was going crazy. She's with my mom and dad and my niece today <laughs> for something to do, something good to do. And um, we just got so lucky here where I live, but unfortunately there are many people in North Carolina that have just had a terrible time and on our other side of the county. So our school has been out because the roads have been washed out. I think they're still flooded and it's just been terrible. So, you know, I'm not complaining at all. And um, so I've got some really good things to show you this week. Too many, I was like feeling overwhelmed. Like what, what should I do first? But as usual, I'm just, I'm not gonna try to organize it. I'm just gonna go for it. And one of my favorite things or best things I got this week was a package from Dean. And he sent me his new collection for the fall. And it is, I always say this, it's the best one, it's the best one, but I feel like it's the best one because it is very, very me. And look at these earrings. <laughs> they are just, magnificent they are and this is they're called the triple threat and this is in like the gunmetal with the um i believe it's called smoky quartz look at this ring and of course shanae is coming over here hey baby you want to come over here she wants to see what's going on but i mean it's just i mean breathtaking look at that I told him this is going to be right up there in the Hall of Fame with the castle ring. So he sent me this ring, which I think is probably one of my favorite rings ever, ever, right up there with my lion ring. And then look at this cuff. It is just like, could not be more me. And I love, of course it's um, adjustable. I had to squeeze it. I don't want to squeeze it too many times, but um, there. So look at how pretty it all, I mean this, I always think of wearing his stuff when I go out, when I'm getting dressed up. And his stuff is just so, it's like chic and edgy all together. And then he sent me this, I believe it's called the Sphere Pendant. And what he's gonna do is, I believe he said he would be finished with it today, I hope, he's going to make another video so that he can show you all these things much better than I can and tell you the names and everything and his inspiration. But look at this pendant. Is that not gorgeous? Look at the, um, you know, I've told you before he's into like architecture and just shapes and stuff and it's just gorgeous. And the weight is so good and it's a box chain, which is my favorite chain. It's just beautiful. I love it. I love long pendants like this too because they add so much and they're so easy to put on. You know what I mean? You can just grab them when you're going out the door. A jeans, t-shirt, and some boots, and a pendant. You know what I mean? Just awesome. And then you guys are gonna love this. And he does, I just texted him. Um, <laughs> I just texted him and he said that he is gonna provide a code. It's LisaDD25 for 25% off. So I really think, I think I'm gonna do these maybe for some gifts this year. I really think that you guys would like these for gifts and stuff. Okay, look at these hoops. And you know I'm a hoop girl. They are called, I believe the continuous hoops. And they've got the gemstones on this side. I'm not sure, I think that would probably be just the quartz or the CZs probably. And then look, on the other side, you have the like onyx gemstone. So you can wear them either way, and they're pretty from both sides. I'm sorry I'm looking in the monitor, but I want to see if I'm showing you the right thing, but look how pretty they are. Just the perfect size, they're not too heavy. They're just gorgeous. And all of his stuff comes in, you know, this fancy box it pulls out with the fancy little case and everything with the ribbon around it. So I've been dying to wear this stuff this week. I actually took some pictures of this so they're real pretty because it was I just had to set it out and look at it until I showed you guys. So thank you so much Dean. I'm trying not to spend too much time ooing and on over everything but because I want to be able to fit his um 
video in here. So, but I'm just, this stuff. When I saw these, before he even put this on his website, he did a post of these on his Instagram. And I put on there, I have to have these. And I had been checking his Instagram, you know, to see when he put them on there because I was just going to buy them because I knew that I would love them for so many different things. I mean, even when your hair's up, oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous. I mean, they could just be everyday earrings because you could wear them with, I would wear them with a t-shirt or dressy. Anyway, so I kept checking and then when he was texting me back and forth, we were talking about skincare or something, I asked him about them and he said, you know, I was going, he was sending me a surprise package. So he ended up sending me these and he could not have sent just a better color. I just love this stuff. So, okay, just wanted to show you those things. Hey everyone, welcome back into our studio. Um, thank you, Lisa, for allowing us to be part of your world. Um, as always, we are excited to give you the first preview of our new collection. We're going to give you an overview of some of our new designs and the gemstones that we've chose for the season. And with that, we will get started. So a big trend we've seen this season is chokers. Uh, we decided to bring chokers into the collection in the Dean Davidson way. We've created some really classic and clean, beautiful shapes. Um, the first choker we have is our leaf choker. Um, very clean, easy to wear, great stacking piece. Uh, we've got the leather strap that runs around the neck. This can be tied at the back of a neck in a bow, or it can be brought around to the front and tied in the front in a bow. Um, our second choker is our sphere choker. The beautiful thing about this piece is that you can wear it up against the neck like this, or you can bring it down and wear it as more of a 22, 21 or 22 inch necklace, or even a 32 inch necklace. And because the spheres are flat, it sits perfectly against the body. Now our third choker is um, our entwined choker. Again, this piece is very versatile because you can wear it up against the neck um, as a choker. And for women who don't like that, you can wear it as more of a collar piece. And then you have the beautiful soft leather that, that goes around the neck. So one of my favorite bracelets this season is um, our leaf chain bracelet. It has a similar shape to the choker that I just showed you. We've got this beautiful waterfall chain, box chain, um, that's been soldered to all of these leaf shapes. And we've designed our own clasp. It's a slide clasp that slides together so that the uh, clasp is seamless on the wrist. Very comfortable to wear and um, just a really beautiful design. Moving over here, we have this beautiful pair of marquee drop earrings. Now, the interesting thing about this earring is that it's probably set all the way around. Um, these are available in white topaz and black onyx and are great uh, for the holiday season. Next to it, we have the infinite earring. Um, we introduced the infinite shape last season and we've continued it through into this beautiful hoop, sh hoop shape this season. Um, it's available with white topaz on one side and black onyx on the other. So you can wear either the white or black. Next up we have this really fun lightning bolt earring. These earrings are really lightweight and um, the perfect versatile earring. We've always loved playing with the idea of suspended gemstones and we've continued that through with this style. This is our caged pendant, available in several different gemstone options. We have this smooth faceted gemstone um, that's suspended beautifully in this caged shape. Moving over to this earring. This is actually one of our more notable earrings. I designed these for the Prime Minister of Canada's wife. We've got all of these individual faceted gemstones um, that are beautifully set in a fan shape. They're inspired by the Japanese hand fan and they were worn by the Prime Minister's wife at the G7 Summit in Japan. One of my favorite groupings from the new season is our sphere collection. Um, the sphere grouping has this beautiful apex gemstone that's faceted all the way around for maximum light reflection. Um, this, this cocktail ring in particular, the stone is set up nice and high, uh, makes a great statement, um, but it's really comfortable and easy to wear. We have available in the black onyx, the labradorite with a beautiful color, green onyx. So we've got this beautiful sphere earring. It has a slightly rounded back and then an apex gemstone again. These are smaller than knockout studs, and very lightweight and easy to wear. A great um, day earring. 
So we have several different um, sphere um, earrings. Uh, one of my favorites is the hoop. These again can be worn either way. So you can wear this sphere um, on the outside or the gemstone on the outside. And I have a beautiful drop earring with the box chain. Moving over here, this is one of my favorite pieces in the new collection. Um, this is our sphere pendant. It can be worn with the brush sphere out or the gemstone. And you have all those beautiful facets. It's, it's a really nice statement piece and great, I think, for fall, winter. And then we have the long layering necklace that you could pair with this. Um, this necklace is long enough that it can be doubled up too. Moving on, we have this beautiful classic piece. This will look great over a sweater um, or a collared shirt, available in all the different uh, metal options. So silver, rose gold, gunmetal, um, gold. Great piece leading into holiday. Now we have my favorite piece of the new collection. Um, this is called the Hexad earring. Um, this earring has actually been worn by the Prime Minister's wife twice in the last week. Um, this is the Rainbow Moonstone option that um, she wore for International Day of the Girl um, to open the Toronto Stock Exchange. And then she also wore these in green onyx for a function the other night. Um, they're just, they're such a beautiful earring. You can see the back of them. It's such a unique setting. They're really lightweight, uh, and I, to me, that's the perfect holiday holiday earring. We have them in several different gemstone options. This is our um, octagon cup that we brought back um, this season in the gunmetal and crystal quartz. It's a, adjustable, and again, just a really attractive piece and a great day to evening piece. There's the matching pendant too, and look at that. Such a beautiful cut on that crystal quartz. And then another classic that we've decided to bring back this season. Um, in speaking to Lisa the other day, she told me that this uh, was one of her all-time favorite pieces in, in this gemstone and in the gunmetal. Such a striking ring um, for holiday in the crystal quartz and the gunmetal. Thank you for taking the time to review our new collection with me today. Um, we have loved making these videos for you over the last couple of years and um, we really appreciate all of you and we love Lisa. To show our appreciation, we want to offer you a code that will be valid until Monday night at midnight. If you enter Lisa DD25 at checkout, you'll receive 25% off your order for the new collection. Have a great weekend. Okay, and then the next thing I want to show you, I don't know if you have noticed my hair, but I have not gotten a haircut or anything. I've not done anything different but use this product. When Brooke and I had gone to see Morgan this week to get Brooke's hair done, we were talking about, I can't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about different products and about the way they smell or something. And she brought up this product. It's Redken Wax Blast 10, High Impact Finishing Spray Wax. And if she had not told me about this, I would have never tried anything called spray wax. But she was talking about how good it smells. It smells like a sexy man. It has like that good boyfriend scent to it. Oh, it smells good. It makes, it's like you feel it, like butterflies in your stomach. And it sprays out in a fine mist here, like that. So don't be, you know, fooled or, you know, confused by the wax like I would have been. But what, oh God, that smells so good. But what I've been doing is um, just blowing out my hair like I usually do, nothing fancy, just like I did in that video. Then I've been straightening it with my, um, that T3 flat iron that I love, probably the best flat iron I've ever had. And then instead of hairspraying it, I've been spraying it with this. And what it does is it like gives my hair the best, it holds it. Um, it has, um, let's see, six to 15 med medium control. And it gives it like weight. You know what I mean? Like if you have hair like mine that is, um, kind of frizzy naturally and then you've bleached it and it's damaged. You know how normally if you were to hold it up like this, it would just kind of go like that. It gives it this weight and I have not even, I have not even brushed it today and look how, and I've slept on it and everything. So that has been like my prize product of the week and I have done it. I don't know if you've noticed in my Instagram, I've used it. When did we go to her? I think Brooke's appointment was Tuesday. 
So that's what I used Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You'll see in my Instagram pictures. And um, John loves my hair straight. And when I went to go see my mom yesterday, she loved it. And she said, I like that it's straight, but it's not too flat. So loving that product. Then, here, let me move my drink over here. I don't wanna put it on the table. Then one of my subscribers, Hillary, sent me a private message on Instagram. I'll, I'll get to this in a minute. <laughs> that I would love the new Laura Mercier limited edition palette. So I ran in Belk this week. What was I going to get? I feel like I was looking for something. Oh, I know what I was doing, but I'll tell you that in a minute too. And so I went and asked them, did they have the new palette? And she said, yes, we do. She said, I haven't put it out yet because they were trying to sell the old ones. But it is, she sent it, she said, these are like your colors and they are, look at those colors. If you like warms, it's not warm. It's a cool tone palette. But I have used it, I used it today and I used it yesterday because I think I got it Wednesday. But I love it. This color all over, it's not too white. It's the perfect like all over color. And then I've been just doing, you can see I've used that color and that color. I've used a lot of them. I haven't gone into like the blues and grays yet, but I will. It is just beautiful. No regrets. I had saved my receipt because I told myself, I don't need any more palettes. I don't even, with my bangs long, my eyeshadow doesn't even show that much. But when I saw it, I had to get it, at least try it. And then when I used it, I just love it. It's like the perfect um, smoldery. I kind of did like a Kate Moss look today. It's that, that perfect smoldery look that I can just kind of smudge right in. And I love it. So if you're thinking about this, and I know a lot of you really like these palettes. They get a lot of great reviews. So, and it's got... Um, some matte eye colors. I think they're, are they mostly mattes? I would have to say probably a, at least half mattes. And then there's some sateen colors and then there's a couple of shimmers. So I was just telling Tammy, she was talking, I uh, did a video on that Mario palette and she was saying not to be afraid of the little bit of shimmer in there. And I, I don't know if I left her a message or if I texted her, I think I texted her, that I have noticed lately when I use all matte, sometimes it makes my eyelids look older. Sometimes I need just a little bit of shimmer, like maybe even just placed right on top of the curve of the eyeball just to give a little bit of sparkle or shimmer there, or at least on the inner corner or something to just jazz it up a little bit so it doesn't look so flat. You know what I mean? So anyway, love that. And, oh gosh, I don't know what to go to next. Okay, you guys were so right when you said I was gonna get addicted to Aritzia. And it's like every time I do a video, somebody tells me about something else that I have to look at and try, and their prices are so good that I end up going on there and getting stuff. And I think one of the things I got, I've got to go get. But anyway, so one of you texted me and said that, I, that your favorite pants ever, they were so soft and you loved them and you wore them all the time, are the, um, they're called the Equator Pants. Stay cozy in soft, fleecy fabric. Keeps its shape, won't stretch out, naturally breathable. And this is from the TNA brand. So I got those and they're just like a thick, fleecy, if you like splendid leggings, they're kind of like that, but nicer. They have a nicer, they're more of like a pant. Yeah, they have a good, and you can you can just look at these and tell they're comfortable. So I ended up getting those in the medium, and then you know they do the um, free shipping for over a hundred, I believe. So I ended up getting this hat, and this it was on sale, I believe. It's the TNA, and it's just a one size fits all Turia hat. It's probably gonna mess up my hair, but I'm gonna put it on anyway. But it's just a good um, plain ball cap. You know, and it's pushed my bangs way too, and I always push those to the side. But I love it. I love how plain it is, and I think you could just <laughs> put it on with, um, I'm also just, gosh, I've got so many thoughts like bouncing around in my brain. I've also just been round brushing my bangs instead of using the flat iron. And um, I think they look, might look a little bit better with a little bit of curve at the ends. Anyway, got this hat and it's regularly 35, but I think I paid $19.99 for it. And then I grabbed this real little, let me go get it real quick because I, I want to be able to show you everything. I'll be right back. Here it is. There's not a whole lot to it. It's just like a little um, like shirt dress. 
made out of like a crepey material. It's the Wilfred Free, and I believe it was on sale. I don't know if there's a tag on it. When I got it, it was so wrinkly. It was so wrinkly, you could not even wear it. I couldn't have shown it to you. And I put the wrinkle releaser on it and fluffed it a little bit. And um, But I was thinking this would be good to wear with tights and um, boots and a jacket. You know, that's what I'm trying to do is buy just base clothes because I like to, I like to wear a different jacket and that's where I like to, you know, spend my money and get my style or whatever is put a jacket on. So something like this I thought would be perfect. Okay, another thing I got this week and I was so excited to show this to you because a lot of you, like me, have fallen in love with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. A lot of people have been in love with it forever, but I had just tried it and tried it. I bet I had tried it five to 10 times and not liked it. And I can honestly tell you, it's all about getting your right shade. I mean, the littlest bit makes the biggest difference. And I've got this on today and I've been wearing the Tawny, but I had noticed lately when I put it on, it looked a little bit too Oh gosh, my mom and uh, Brooke are here, hold on. That was my mom and Brooke, and um, they brought Will and I, there's a new donut place in town, it's called the, I believe it's called the Donut Inn, and um, my mom and dad and my niece and Brooke went there this morning, and now they're on the way to the beach. Out on the beach, my dad likes to surf fish, and I think, I don't know if they're gonna be um, getting bait, or if they're gonna just Look, I don't think they're going to go fishing, but anyway, sorry. <laughs> so back to the Estee Lauder. I noticed when I put my Tawny on, it just wasn't wowing me. But when I looked at pictures, I loved it. And I remember loving it when I used to wear it. And I thought, you know what? I bet it's because that was the summertime. I bet my shade has changed. So I went and talked to the girl at Belk at the Estee Lauder counter, and she was so good. She was one of those people that just knew all the numbers, the undertones. You could tell she took pride in it and she was very knowledgeable. And I told her that I wore Tawny. I said, um, I, I wanna go either down a shade or I don't know if I need to go just more neutral. And she said, well, you don't wanna go neutral. She said, because then it's gonna lay just flat and just kind of sit on your skin. It's not gonna glow and you won't have that. And I was like, yes, because that's what had always been the problem before when I tried it is I felt like it just looked so flat on my skin. And so we looked at, there was one right underneath Tawny, and then, I don't know, you know how there's like intensities and then there's like tones? I think this one went down or went over something. I'm not sure, it was a little bit different and I we loved it on me. And the color is, <laughs> it's 2W2 and it's rattan. And it's what I have on today. I've worn it now for, I guess, two or three days probably two days, and I love it. Yeah, yesterday was my first day because I kept thinking, oh, I love this, I love this. So if you were wearing the Tawny and you think it's getting a little too yellowy or orangey or kind of dark looking and it's just not wowing you like it used to, try this one because I love it. It just, I feel like it gives me the perfect tone and the perfect shade. I don't have to, you know, do a bunch to make it right, like some foundations. I got that. Um, my friend that I have made on here, Denise, sent me this. <laughs> she was asking me about my room and the colors and stuff, and she said she wanted to send me something. She said, I'll give you a hint, HRH Alex loves it. And I could not think of what that would be, because I watch all of Alex's videos, and I just got it. I think yesterday, and she sent me, I'm so excited, one of these candles. And if you watch Alex, you'll know she is a candle connoisseur and she does not like just any candle. It has to be just a certain type, you know, she's real, real particular. And she was, I remember the video now, she was talking about these candles from Lalure. And the girl that makes these is real sweet. She put a little note in here. And um, her name is Kayla. So I hope you enjoyed this candle your friend got for you. I wanted to include a business card, but I ran out, so I included one of my gift bags. I am on Instagram and Etsy as Lalure Candles if you want to check out more of my pictures online. So I will put her Etsy down below. And uh, it, this is one of the new scents, and it's Amber Vanilla. Like the perfect, just exactly what I would have ordered. And it smells so good. There is like a 
soft it's like a bold but soft scent like not it doesn't sting your nostrils it isn't one of those that you think i don't know it just smells divine divine <laughs> and look how pretty this glass is it's just beautiful so thank you denise i've already thanked her and i'm really excited about that it's gonna look so pretty in my room so that's why she said she thought about getting the red but she thought it might clash with my chair because my chair is kind of like a corally red Bloomingdale's was having their friends and family 25% off and I ordered three things. One of them has not gotten here. It shipped separate, but the other two got here yesterday and this is one of them. It's nothing too thrilling and I hadn't tried it on yet, but it will fit. But I bought this like little bralette thing and it's one of those that has like the cage straps for right here and i got this thinking it would just look good you know with jackets and like a real deep v t-shirt or anything it just adds that little it just takes one little thing of interest to make an outfit stand out especially like with the black blazer like this a uh, deep v-neck or scoop neck black tee and like a tuxedo blazer or something it's just so pretty and they actually have this like in a long line version where it's like a whole camisole but i just wanted this and i thought i would just enjoy it you know wearing it and um with this i bought and it was kind of a letdown i debated on whether to even show it to you oh sorry it's trash day hallelujah we i tipped the trash guys i just tipped them last week i tip them usually every every time I see them when I'm out there, but um, they take so much of our trash. We are the worst. But anyway, um, let me show you the other thing that I got. It's a jacket that, it's a faux fur bomber, and I've always looked for a bomber that was similar to the one that Carrie is wearing on Sex and the City, the movie, when she goes to see, um, what is her name, Charlotte at the hospital when Charlotte has baby Rose. And it's also the one she wears when she goes and has the last wonderful scene in the closet with Big. And I love the way it looks with that silky dress. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh gosh, I love that. But it was in the little girl section. So I ended up buying the 16 because I figured if it doesn't fit me, it will fit Brooke. So it, it fits us both, but it's not, um, it like barely fits me. It zips and everything. But, um, so I figured I would keep it for Brooke and I, and it's just so perfect. So let me show it to you real quick. Here it is, and it's like a gray, and it's, you know, a bomber has the black on the bottom, and then the um, black sleeves. So I just think it would look so good over like um, a black slip dress, and boots, and tights, and I love like the silky inside, and it's that brand that I like, that Bardo brand. And like I said, it is a um, 16 in girls. And the price was $89.95, but I got it the 25% off. So I think it's worth that. <laughs> I just wanted to mention this real quick. I thought this was so sweet. Carol from the O Carol Show, the one that sent me the cool sunglass thing, which she told me I could um, change that into like a stand for my sunglasses. We were talking, I told her that I loved her interaction with her grandchildren on her videos and she said you know my grandchildren are your children's ages and she said i want to send them something so she sent us a box of goodies <laughs> that's a necklace for me it's so cool it's like a choker with this really cool stone and then she sent them both i haven't given it to them yet because i wanted to show you first she sent them both a bag of goodies i thought that was so sweet so i just wanted to mention her again she is I can just tell, I mean, you know, when you're texting somebody back and forth or you're messaging, we message through Instagram, some people you can just feel their personality through the text. I don't know, it's weird, you know, and she's just very, very sweet. She talks to me very sweet. I love it. And you'll see her on our video and she's fun too. This is a big thing that I got this week. One of the two, probably the two biggest things I got this week. Um, one of them I'm wearing, <laughs> or two of them I'm wearing. Okay, you guys remember when I bought this Rebecca Minkoff, it's called a guitar strap. It's a strap to put on purses. And I've been wanting to put it on something, but I've been carrying my Valentino um, tote and loving it and everything. And then Kelly got this in at Oliver. She carries the Rebecca Minkoff bags. And I have seen this at Nordstrom 
but I didn't get it and look. And so now if I want to, I can put this strap on this and I think it is going to look so cool. I mean, it looks cool even without it. And it is a, I think it's called a saddlebag. Yep, it's the um, Vanity Saddlebag Black. I love it, I just think it's so cool. I think it's very, you know me, and I love like the straps. It's just a really nice looking bag. And then it has like these little zipper, like a little zipper compartment out here so you can put your phone. That was, that had to be there. There has to be something on the outside for me to put my phone if it has a flap like this. And then it has like a pocket on the inside. Does it have a pocket? Yeah, and it even has slip pockets over here. Let me take the, I've been waiting to change into it to show you. Okay, so it's like black inside too. But it's really nice, it's a good size. And I will put this on when I show you the rest of what I got, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let me show you first up close. This jacket, <laughs> I think this was probably my biggest purchase this week. This is a, it's from Oliver and I did not even know it was there until I was looking on her website last week to, sh or it might've been week before last to show you something and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh. It reminds me so much of that black Chanel jacket that Kate Moss wears all the time. That It. And I, hopefully one day I'll be able to buy a real Chanel jacket, but right now I didn't want to. And this one is the Boucle, Boucle Tweed Jacket in size six, and it is Rebecca Taylor. And it is gorgeous. It's like all black. It has the perfect little black buttons, has the perfect collar. I just love it. And then I've got on just a, I believe this is like a James Purse, um, like a muscle tank type thing. And then this necklace, I'm not even sure the brand, but she's had these there a long time and she has two of them in the sale cabinet. And so I bought one and there's one more left that I will put a picture in right here, just in case one of you wants it. But I think it's, I think they're like 30% off or something. And I just thought it looked cool, you know, with like the jacket or whatever. And I might even put like another something with it. And then the jeans I have on are not going to be too thrilling. They're just black jeans, but I have missed these. These are the Citizens of Humanity Avedon jeans. And um, here, let me turn the camera. So these are the Citizens of Humanity, the Avedon jeans, and these are just one of the most comfortable pair of skinny jeans you will ever, ever get. This is a size 28. I used to have them in size 29, and then when I had lost weight, I sold them, and um, I miss them. They're just very, very um, normal skinny jeans, and they're the kind that they're stretchy and real, real soft, and they're the kind that when you put them on, they just go whoosh, like right up your leg. They're not the kind that you have to you know, pull on, they're just, they're awesome. So I bought these again. And then today I thought I would show you, I've been wearing my boots that I got from, oh goodness, let me get this right. Um, All Saints. And I wore them the other day. I've worn them two times. And um, let me, you can see them. But um, I will say, everybody was asking me if they're comfortable. I would say that they are, two to three hour boots if you're going to be doing a lot of walking if you are just like going to work or something and you're going to be walking and sitting and walking and sitting then they're all day boots they're they're really really comfortable but any boot with like this heel and no platform is going to be you know that way so loving my jacket i love my oh let me try my purse on for you I love it. I think it's awesome and it's adjustable right there. And I guess, I guess you could take this off, but I love it. You can do it cross body. I just think it's the perfect size and just something totally different for me. Mm -hmm. 
I just noticed that my, oh, am I too close? I just noticed my um, vacuum cleaner is out over there. I don't know if you guys just saw it, but sorry. My house is kind of upside down just because it's been one of those weeks. And John is switching us over from cable to that. It's kind of like Apple TV. It's called Amazon Fire or something. And you have to buy like a box for each TV. And then you buy different packages. And it's going to save us some money because we only watch certain channels. We don't watch you know, all channels. Oh, I meant to tell you, um, a lot of you told me about Sarah Jessica Parker being on that new show, her show Divorce, and so we got HBO and I watched it. <laughs> and I loved it, of course. It wasn't, it isn't Sex in the City. It was kind of, told John, it was kind of dark, but I still enjoyed, you know, I enjoyed watching her. Thank you all so much, and I will see you real soon. Hopefully get back on track soon. Okay, bye-bye.